Hello, welcome to Wally Bar, and this is another little um, Festool Domino Dowler um, video. And just a quick tip. Basically, when I make my handrails and my base rails, I like to use the dominoes to join the spindles, you know, the, the balustrade to either the base rail or to the handrail. Now, obviously you need those mortises that you've already done in your base rail or your handrail, you need them to marry up perfectly in line with the uh, well, with each component. So when you put your spindles in, or your balustrade banisters, they're not one going that way a little bit, and then one's going that way a little bit, because these are all off-centre. So what I do is, I've, well, what I've done, I've just come up with an idea, just a quick idea, so I thought I'd just share it with you. Basically, I need to know the centre of these mortises. Now I know what you're going to say, well you can get a tool for that, and there is a tool for that, and you can get a re repetitive, there's like a um, stop guide, I think it's called stop guide actually, for the Festool Domino, and basically you, what you do is you create your first mortise, and then the pin of that stop guide goes in there, and you've set your distance, and every single one will be exactly the same distance apart. The thing is, I ain't got one, and I, I'm not going to go about order one, because you might not need it again at the moment, so... Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer these mortises to create new mortises in this handrail. Well, it's going to be a handrail. That makes a square profile at the moment. That will be a handrail profile once I'm done. And I thought, oh God, I've got to try and eye eyeball the centre of each one and then transfer it onto this handrail. So then I can use the um, clear guide or the little triangle guide in the centre marker of the, the Festool Domino DF700. So I thought, well, why don't I make it a bit easier on myself, make sure I get it right every time. So I made this. Very simple little thing. This is a, a domino that I've made. And literally I cut it, to, cut it to length and I've cut a section out. And that section is one half of the actual domino mortise itself. So effectively that would have been the tenon. But I've marked the centre of this um, tenon, so of this mortise, onto this um, loose tenon and then chopped it out. So in fact, all I've got is that. Very simple. Really, really simple. So now all I have to do is to make sure that I'm in the middle there and I can transfer this accurately onto that handrail. I use my little square. Obviously set to the right distance, so I'm not pushing anything out of the way. All I have to do is then plonk that into the hole like so. And I push that up against the, the edge of the mortise like so. Can you see that? And my finger's in the way. Like so. Really easy. Right, so I push it down like so, so it keeps it upright. And now... I've got the square, I'm all bit fingers and thumbs here, aren't I? Wasn't earlier. I can then transfer that mark onto the edge of the handrail. And I can do that for each and every one. So I'll do that one. Do exactly the same thing again. Transfer that onto the handrail. And in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that on every single um, mortise. And then this job should be a good one. So anyway. I hope you found that of use, and if you've been with Scott, then click like and subscribe, and maybe the little bell icon, because then you get a warm, fuzzy feeling in your pocket, and that'll be me uploading another video, and I know you'd be excited about that.